No one knows why humans began to paint and carve images, or what these images even meant to them. No one really knows the lives our ancestors led. However, we see that the subject of animals, not man, dominated their art during the Paleolithic period. In Greek, paleos means old and lithos means stone. So Paleolithic roughly translates to old stone. And Paleolithic art is old stone art, art made during the Stone Age, also known as the Old Stone Age. And this is a period in human prehistory distinguished by the original development of stone tools. Humankind originated from Africa in our remote past, then humans migrated to other parts of the world, and our migrating ancestors began to make pictorial images of the world around them. And the Paleolithic period is arguably one of the most important times in art history and in human history because it is then that humans invented the concept of recording the world around them through making art. And this is something people still do today. And no one really knows why humans have this inherent urge to make artwork or to use artwork as a communication tool. In fact, some even say all children are born artists. So there have been more than 400 painted caves found around Europe, Spain, France, Africa, and, and in some places in South America. Some of the oldest known painted caves are found in Southern France. One of the most famous caves found in Southern France is the Lascaux Cave. And this cave is estimated to date from 17,000 to 20,000 years ago. This cave was discovered in 1940 by four Frenchmen looking for their dog. Their dog had hidden in the cave and the men followed the dog inside. When they were able to illuminate the cave, they were surprised to find depictions of animals surrounding them. The walls are covered with more than 600 images of wild animals. In the Lasco cave, the paintings are mostly of bulls and horses. However, other animals such as dogs and rhinos are depicted. We even see what may be a humanoid figure disemboweling a bison. The paintings are outlined, silhouetted, but some are filled in with red pigment. The images are painted in many different earth tones. Earth tones are colors such as red, browns, blacks, and yellows. The animals are rendered in a twisted perspective, in which their bodies are depicted in profile, while we see the horns from a more frontal viewpoint. If you look closely, the animals seem to be facing different directions and overlapping each other. This causes art historians to believe that our ancestors continue to paint these at different times of their lives and at different periods of their history. It's important to keep in mind that when we were talking about early human art, there are no definite answers. The subject is very well researched. However, there is still a lot of mystery surrounding the lives our ancient ancestors lived. Historians do not believe our ancestors lived in these caves but dwelt in them from time to time. For the most part, they continued to be nomadic and would follow a food source. Nomadic means our ancient ancestors moved from place to place in search of food so they didn't stay in one spot. Since food is a motivator for life, perhaps our ancient ancestors depicted these animals because they were an important food source to them. Others believe that that's not the case, and that these animals were not hunted by early humans at all, but worshipped by shamans and painted during ritualistic ceremonies. There is new evidence that suggests that many of the paintings were done by women. Another suggestion is that these drawings and paintings were used as a way to communicate other early humans that passed through the area. This is because there have been many repeating symbols found around the world. The original Lasco cave is blocked off from tourists due to algae growth. There is a replicated cave next door.